Hello ladies and gentlemen, Papa Bale here. <laughs> We're just looking at uh, my pulse motor. And what it does is it generates electricity uh, on one end and kinetic energy on the other. Um, it's more or less designed to generate electricity though. This rotor will stop really quick if you like try to make it spin anything more than a very fine copper wire <laughs> all right so let's start with our voltage we got seven and a half volts and 1.2 amps going in and we are lighting a 35 watt light bulb with this uh, mid-size coil to 11 it's about 12,000 turns and then this coil is 22,000 turns and it's generating quite a bit uh, 115.4 all right it knows I'm watching it now <laughs> But yeah, 115.4 with a load, it's still spinning. Huh, what else can it do? I don't know, I think that's what it does. I think it's pretty good. Uh, my setup here is pretty modular. So, um, this is a nine inch, nine magnet rotor. Let's take a look at the sine wave coming from a 9 inch 9 magnet rotor on this coil. So this is what we're reading off of. And this is the reading that we're getting. Yeah, that light is bright. Skylight, it's... Let's see, here we go. About three, 350. 350 spikes. That's about right. Awesome. Frequency is below 100. It's 89. 89.2. We want AC reading because this is an AC although the direct input is DC by the time it gets to the other end of this thing it's going to be AC all right be right back wow you know the point of this thing right here this toy and I keep on telling people it's a tabletop toy it generates real electricity and if you grab it the wrong way this thing will shock the hell out of you okay and what it does is it's a toy and I play with it to my heart's content so I mean that that's what I'm doing with it and I'm, I'm documenting video documentary of all, all of what I find out to the best of my ability. That's what I'm doing. Simple. I think it's awesome. <clears throat> I mean, so what does it do? It spins and it generates electricity. Um, so let's, let's add everything up. That's 35 watts over there. I'm not exactly sure how many amps it needs, but we're generating, or putting in 1.2 amps. We got our drive coil, which is a four filer coil of 26 gauge. So there's four strands of 26 gauge that are each 215 turns along. And then there's a 32 gauge strand at the same length. 
It's also hooked into the drive currently. There's an external coil and there's two generator coils. This external coil is the trigger coil for the drive. This works way better than having it inside the coil. Um, I say try it. That's what I would say. Because I've done it both ways. <laughs> so I know which one is better for what I'm doing. And, you know, one way you'd have to change this entire, you need a bigger bobbin, you need a lot more copper. You know, it's like, come on now. This right here is 200, this is like 860 turns all together. Can't beat that. Not and get these kind of results. You know, you could probably go less and that would be a way to beat it. Because more is literally, man, when you get to the point where the gradient line on the waist chart is freaking ridiculous. And I know, I know there's not a lot of potential energy here, but it's, this isn't about potential energy. This, what I'm doing, is not about potential energy. It's literally about putting, uh, putting your finger in a light socket. That's what it is. You know, the, the, the energy transmission goes directly from the socket to your finger. There's nothing in between it. There's, there's not six miles of copper in between it. You know what I'm saying? There's just 860 turns. Which is really just 215 turns, depending on which strand you're touching. If you, oh, man, you grab all five. Woo-wee! Zap! I don't know why everybody who does this has to want to change the world, you know, or, you know, break the law of physics. I don't understand that. I don't get it. I'll never get it, dude. I don't, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just having fun. So... Fuck. 